all right so in this video we are going to discuss about a very important feature that we should have in in, in every single crm including salesforce the feature is duplicate rule so salesforce is a database and the main uh, reason why customer or the business they use salesforce to load their business data when it comes to our data definitely there might be a duplicate uh, data as well which we have to we as a system have to take care of right now when it comes to duplicate let's see salesforce how uh, how salesforce as a system um, handle the duplicate uh, data inside this crm when it comes to salesforce we will see how a salesforce handle all this duplicate data inside the um, database right so uh, we'll take an example as usual uh, this time our example would be employee so we have to restrict the duplicate data in the employee object so if you find any employee data is being created uh, with let's say same mobile number and same email address then that data has to be uh, flagged as duplicate or or something like this let's say there is a record there is a there is an employee that you have already created named rajesh uh, with some email address and with some uh, phone number and you're trying to insert another uh, employee data name is let's say rishik but with the same email address and with the same phone number in this case the system should throw an error message saying you are going to insert you are about to insert uh, duplicate data and now we will see how do you implement that now salesforce has something called a duplicate rule which is pretty much uh, uh, drag and drop and uh, kind of a configuration that as a salesforce admin that we have to do so we as a salesforce admin first of all have to understand how the customer wants to stop the duplication like sometimes the customers say that if the you know email address is same mark as duplicate if the phone number is same mark as duplicate if email plus phone plus last name is same then mark as duplicate it could be based on the criteria that business provide we as an admin we have to know how we can go and configure the same duplication rule in the system okay so the first thing is if you go to setup here in the setup and if you search with duplication d u p l i c a duplicate rules you see something called duplicate rule and matching rule let's talk about the duplicate rule first so when you open the duplicate rule you'll see the duplicate rule has already been created for few standard object like account contact and lead okay and if you want to create it for as for our example we have to do it for employee object so let's create a new rule for employee object if you see uh, that you know we can actually create the duplicate rule for uh, all these custom object that we have onboarded and few standard object like account contact and lead got it so let's select the employee object from the list so the name of the um, a duplication rule would be let's say employee duplication rule and we need to understand this page and all the options that you get to see in this page okay let me just start from this the object name is employee record label security understand this record label security actually the next chapter is basically uh, your record label security we haven't discovered so far what is a record label security but uh, on a just right so salesforce provide few restriction few um, uh, data security which we will leverage in the next chapter and uh, if you want if you want to enforce that security uh, while checking the um, while while plugging in the duplication rule then you have to uh, click on this radio button now let me give the give a proper example to explain this particular feature okay for an example let's assume there are two user inside the system okay one is john one is alex both are the sales executive both are getting leads and the leads are coming and getting assigned to john and alex now assume that rajesh is a lead rajesh is actually assigned to john john can see this rajesh data because it has been assigned to him but alex cannot see the data because that rajesh lead is been assigned to john not to alex so alex can't see the data but john can see this in this case this lead name rajesh do exist in the system but alex can't find it so now if you click on this particular radio button which says enforce sharing rules now let's read this uh, highlighted line which says the matching rule compares only the record that the user has access to 
and the resulting list of possible duplicates includes only record the user has access to which means if i consider a record named rajis which is about to get created as a lead inside the system and if alex doesn't have access to the existing rajis's data right and if you click on this first radio button and if the second duplicate data is going to go and uh, assign to alex then system will not stop this record why because alex who is about to get the record who is actually creating the record he don't see the record the existing duplicate data rajesh alex who is going to create the data he do not have access to the existing data so for the system because alex don't have access to the existing rajesh data system will think okay let's go ahead and onboard this duplicate data rajesh because who is creating alex don't have access to the existing rajesh's lead you got it so if you click on the first radio button this will enforce this sharing rule and if you bypass the sharing rule then no matter if the record has been assigned um, uh, or created by john or alex system will find that okay there is a duplicate data exist with name rajesh then let's highlight the error message called duplicate data exist do you want to really create this record or not got it so that's all about record level security so if you want to bypass or enforce the sharing rule that you have to select based on the business need this is something as an admin we don't decide right if the business said that no no uh, you know the duplication rule it is not system specific it should be user specific okay if user should if user doesn't have access to the existing duplicate data then let's assume that that's a brand new data and let's onboard the duplicate data if if that that's something you want to happen inside the system then you have to select the first one or else you have to bypass it now second is actions so what exactly happened when system found that okay this is a duplicate data so ideally what business um, recommend us to do is basically even though it is a duplicate data system said that okay uh, let us go ahead and onboard the data just give a uh, alert message saying hey you are creating the record name rajesh it seems rajesh has already um, rajesh is already an existing employee so do you really want to create it if you again hit the save button then system will allow you to save the data and create it okay so this is something that it is asking you action on create whenever a, a duplicate data is going to get created will the system allow to create the record yes then check this allow if you select block then if let's say rajesh as a lead exists in the system next time when you create a lead uh, name rajesh or let's say employee name rajesh then it will block you it will not it will not allow you to create only but if you select the allow then it will just give you a message saying hey user rajesh is an existing employee and this is the details of the existing data do you really want to create it yes then let's go ahead and save the button click on the save button you'll be able to create it okay so this is what the actions you can specify the actions for create and edit as well while editing suppose rajesh was an employee mm -hmm. and uh, you know rajesh had the email address and phone number specified but there was another employee named something uh, rishik suppose and somebody edited that employee rishik and changed the email address and phone number exactly as whatever rajesh had in this case the rishik is 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 just again a, a duplicate data so do you want the system to allow or block this is what you select in this second action on edit option make sense and uh, if you want to give the alert alert by the way this is the alert text okay whatever alert we we are going to um, discover this alert okay when we test this out and once you select the actions and uh, the security and all this is come the, the next point is the matching rule the matching rule is basically where you have to add the matching rule criteria in our example what is the matching rule criteria it should be if employee uh, email address and the phone number is same then mark the second employee as a duplicate got it that's the uh, matching rule that we have so i have not created any matching rules so far yeah for the employee object now what i'm going to do is click here you will get an option called create new matching rule click on this save the duplicate rule we'll get back to the duplicate rule after we create the matching rule uh-huh 
okay now if you see here this is where you have to put the matching criteria again for the for for the example that we are discussing our matching criteria is email exactly same and uh, do you have phone number yes phone number exactly same if email and phone number is exactly same that's when you mark the second record as duplicate okay click on save please remember the duplicate rule or the matching rule that you have created it has to be active if it is not active then system will not fire this so i'm just clicking on activate button i made the matching rule active and uh, i'll go back to the duplicate rule okay so go back to the duplicate rules now i have the the employee duplication rule all right and if you see this rule is not active so far okay i'll just click on this and uh, click on this activate button now my duplicate rule is activate and the duplicate rule has its matching rule as well it's very easy to set up what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go and test this duplicate rule so i will go back to our app here homely food this app already has my employee tab and uh, if you click on new button let us create a new employee name rajesh and the phone number is you know you know nine nine five nines okay the email address is rajesh at the rate rajesh.com for example okay save and new i'm creating one more employee just giving a name as arishik okay phone number i'm keeping as nine 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 five nines okay an email address as again rajesh at the rate rajesh.com so what's going to happen now because my duplicate rule is active ideally if i click on save button it should give me a um, alert message not an error message right alert message saying hey duplicate data exists do you want to really create it click on save this is my alert message by the way this record looks like an existing record make sure to check any potential duplicate record before saving now what i can do i can actually click on this view duplicates and this will give me by then there could be like multiple duplicate data so it will give me here all the duplicate data references all the rajesh's employee um, data references where the e email address and phone number are same and if i want i can click on this open this employee and this will basically open this particular employee data make sense i'm not uh, i'm just going to ignore this message okay i said that's fine let's ignore this message and hit on save button what's going to happen now it will allow me to create the employee name Rishik. Why it is allowing me? Because if you remember, in the duplication rule, we had defined, uh, let us go back to the rule and just quickly check what we had defined. So if I go back to the duplicate rule, the first duplicate rule is this see here we have already defined that on the creation please allow <laughs> okay now i made the action on create uh, block okay it was allow i just changed it to block uh, by the way you have another conditions here see uh, matching rule difference between duplicate rule and matching matching rule is what there's no difference basically duplicate rule is the rule that you're defining and uh, you are specifying these actions and uh, security and all and matching rule is where you're going and defining what should be your criteria to be checked correct so apart from your matching rule let's say even though your matching rule is getting matched if you want to check something else before you run the duplicate rule then you have to go here and give that criteria here for an example okay for everything you should have an example to understand let's say employee suppose uh city new york if any employee okay belongs to the city called new york then go ahead and check the duplicate or uh, whether the employee uh, is a duplicate data or not you know what i mean if the employee that you're creating if the city is a uh, new york then you go ahead and check the matching rule whether the, the same employee has been created with the same email address and phone or not if the city is not 
New York, correct? Then even though the matching rule, um, even though the existing record has the same email address and phone number, let the employee data be created. That is the case. Then you have to go here and give the um, conditions. So this conditions is basically uh, is, is like, you know, when exactly your matching rule will be checked. Your duplicate rule will fire first. And when it fires, it will check whether um, whether the um, employee city is New York or not. If it is, then it will fire the matching rule. And it will check whether the existing data has the same email address or phone or not. I hope this entire duplication rule is clear. What I'll do is I'll just make this action on create as block. And I have this is basically optional, right? Because I anyway have provided the matching rule. So I'm not going to give any other duplication rule conditions over here. Just clicking on save button. I will clone the same data. Check this out. I'm going to create a brand new data. Okay. With the same phone, same email address. And if I hit on save button, this is now giving me an error message, not an alert message. You see the difference between alert and error. Error is basically it will not allow you to create the data. Alert is basically where it will just alert you. Hey, you have a duplicate data. Do you want to create it seriously like that? It's kind of an alert. Okay. Now, because I have selected blocked here, right? Allow on create block. That's why it is it is just blocking me to create you cannot create it okay you hit the save button number of time you will not be able to create the data that's all pretty much about duplication rule this and you as an admin have to definitely leverage this for most of the objects because customer would definitely not allow the duplicate data in the system so you as an admin definitely have to configure this duplication rule for most of the objects all right. Uh, again, just to add on on this same topic, sometime what happened is uh, I'm going to share another example, which again, one of my customer uh, had asked me to implement and uh, I found duplication rule might not, um, it is not helpful in that situation. So what they ask is basically they had uh, an old CRM. Okay. They're actually migrating from their old CRM to Salesforce. So they told me that whenever a duplicate leads are coming, okay, um, because all the existing, all the legacy old data is not there in my Salesforce CRM, what you do is you just check in that other CRM, in that legacy CRM, do we have the lead exist? If it is, then only you give this error message. You understand the requirement now? Now, whenever a lead was getting in, onboarded inside the Salesforce system for that particular customer, I was going, I mean, my system was going and checking in this another system, another uh, legacy CRM, whether the lead ex is existing over there or not. If it is, then give me an error message. So in this case, the standard duplicate rule is not going to help you, right? So we have to go ahead. We had to go ahead and, uh, you know, we actually used Apex for this scenario. But if your data exists in the Salesforce CRM, and uh, uh, if it is not very complex duplication rule that the customer is looking for, we can definitely use this duplicate rule to fulfill that requirement. All right. I hope this duplicate rule is pretty much clear. All right.